Hello photographers, Bang Eyes here with another video. In this episode we are going to have an unboxing and reviewing of Sigma 105mm f2.8 EXDG OSHSM macro lens in depth review. Here is the stuff which was inside the box, a beauty shoulder case to carry the lens easily everywhere. Really nice and great one. And I will tell you what is a good one. Here is the case's carry strap, the lens itself and two different lens hood. One of them is a 35mm full-size hood and the other is an APS-C size hood which it is an special lens hood to use it on APS-C size cameras. Looks like stands for crop sensor cameras. This lens, the Sigma 105mm f2.8, is one of the Sigma's DG series, mean that it meant for full-frame cameras. However, we can use it on crop sensor cameras too. And it is compatible with many name brand cameras such as Nikon, Canon, Sony and etc. This is a real macro lens because it gives you 1 to 1 life size magnification ratio. Mean that the lens projecting the real life size of the subject onto the screen and sensor for photography and videography. And it gives sharp images with amazing details. This is HSM lens, mean that it has a hypersonic motor to focusing fast and quiet. By the way, at the end of the video, we will test the focusing speed and focusing noise. We have number of focusing distance here, and it has a nice and a smooth manual ring too. Hmm, so interesting, I like it. And while we continue to spin to focus, we can feel and hear the tag sound that we've reached to an end, so we don't need to turn over and over. On the side of the lens, there are three switch buttons. The first one is a focus distance switch. The focus distance switch gives you the option of locking the autofocus from 0.312 up to 0.45 meter. And the second is 0.45 meter up to infinity. And the last one is full to change the focusing points into full lengths. The second is a manual to automatic focus switch and the last one but not least one is OS or optical stabilization as I mentioned on the lens. Optical stabilization switch is for image stabilization and it has a three different options. Number one is for normal use of the lens stabilization, mean that any horizontal or vertical movement of the lens. The second is for use when photographing a moving subject only for vertical movement, which it is good for videography. And off, well, off is off. The lens is so handy, but it's a bit heavy. Well, it's normal because it's a macro lens and it's about uh, 726 grams. It has a nice build quality and the size is also perfect for a macro lens, especially about focusing system because the lens has an internal focusing system so there isn't any external lens moves which it is really good and important for insect photography. The lens has a 62mm cap so we can use any 62mm filter thread and on the back of the lens as you see it has a metal ring on the back which it is really good and well made and it has a 9 aperture blade to make a good bokeh in the background and included 16 elements in 11 groups. Finally, the lens aperture goes from f2.8 up to f22. Let me load it on the camera, Canon EOS 6D, and see the aperture. There we go. Okay. Here it is, uh, the aperture goes from f2.8 up to f22. And it makes a fantastic sharp portrait with good details. And of course, perfect for macro photography. This is the lens's full-size hood, as I mentioned on the hood, 35mm full-size hood. Let me load it on the lens. Looks nice, and it makes the lens to be handsome. Mm. And the hood is tight and solid. And like most of the lens, we can invert the hood and switch it on the lens to carry it easily and have it with the lens to use whenever we want to use. The standard lens hood works perfect 
and Sigma 105 mm for full frame cameras, but when we pairing the lens with any crop sensor cameras, the effective focal length became approximately 160 mm. So, to counterbalance this, Sigma has included an extension adapter to add to the lens, the APS-C size hood. So, let's add the hood into the lens and then add the full size hood. Wow, I know, it looks like telephoto lens, but all in all, it is so useful. By the way, to mentioning that, if you have a crop sensor camera, we can invert the full size hood onto the APS-C size hood to carry it easily and have it with the lens. And these two is still solid and tight. Whoa, ready to shoot. So let me load the lens onto the full frame camera. with the full size hood that's with the full size hood for full frame camera let me switch it and this is for full frame cameras but then we add it for crop sensor camera we should add an adapter to the lens and then a full size hood and that's how does it looks like with crop sensor camera and we can invert it the full size there we go at the beginning I told you this is a great shoulder case for the lens but why well because it has a nice padding all around and the top and of course inside at the bottom of the case so normally we can put the lens in the case and zip it up but let me add the full size hood then put it in the case then we can zip it up but in that case we can use it for full frame cameras if we have a crop sensor camera we need to have the extension adapter and full size both together so let me load the extension adapter onto the lens and then full size hood onto the extension adapter. In that case, we can't use the back because it's a bit larger. Then, fortunately, Sigma designed two padding in the case. So we can just take one of them and then put the lens in and then zip it up. So, we can use for full frame and crop sensor camera. That is much better. Alright, I loaded the lens on the camera and these are our subject. So, let's see the focusing speed through the camera's viewfinder. All right, let's turn the camera on and the cab is on. It's in full AF and OS is on. So let's see the focusing noise together. Did you hear that sound at the first time? That, that's for optical stabilization. See that? So let me turn it off. That's it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, please click thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in another video. And like always, have a great shooty day. At the beginning, I told you. What did I told you?